Uh, we are going to take you on a little mini tour of the Ardenomians Trail, and my good friends Joe and Rita Orr are going to be gracious enough to host you on this little tour. Uh, bear in mind, this is not the whole Ardenomians Trail, this is just a small segment of it. We hope you enjoy your trip, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy your hosts. I'm Joseph Orr, an artist from Osage Beach. And I'm Rita Orr, also an artist from Osage Beach. We're married, by the way. <laughs> And this is our studio and home here in Osage Beach on uh, State Route KK in and, Osage Beach. And we welcome everyone here that's visiting the area or that's even permanent to the area that hasn't been by our studio to stop by and say hello. We had a gallery and exhibited Joe's work at the Pot of Steer. And we met a lot of people uh, from St. Louis and Kansas City, all over the Midwest, and it greatly uh, helped our artwork. Well, we after uh, three years of being at the uh, Potters here, uh, as good as that was, we felt like there was a part of the art world that was kind of uh, uh, missing from our life. So we decided but, to go back on the road. Yeah. But uh, that that established it, us here at the lake. Right. And uh, that's kind of how we got started here at the lake. But uh, at some point, we decided to go back on the road and, and try to establish uh, my work at that time uh, in. Uh, on more of a national scale. So uh, we did a lot of uh, exhibitions uh, across the whole United States, but always keeping, uh, we, we lived in Elder, Missouri at the time, and so we always kept our, our uh, roots uh, kind of there. Now, after so many years of being back on the road, we decided again, as, as nomadic as we are, we, we decided we kind of had enough of traveling and we decided to open up uh, another gallery again situation. So that's when we built this place. Uh, 20 years ago, and uh, here on KK, and we've been here ever since. We uh, uh, built our house here on KK Road uh, so that we could have an outlet for uh, uh, the, uh, our artwork to directly to the public. And but at the same time, we recognized that uh, the work had to uh, uh, be distributed uh, throughout the whole United States, and so uh, we used this as our. Um, outlet for presenting the work to the uh, people, that the visitors that came into the area and also a reflection of what's in the area. But uh, uh, well, It was just uh, natural because Joe has always painted the area, the landscape, streams, and, and the lake um, at the Lake of the Ozark. So it, we thought about other places we could go, but we didn't think about it very long, so here we are. My, uh, my approach to painting uh, is basically going out into the field, doing a painting, uh, a sketch, uh, bringing it back to the studio, developing that sketch into a finished product, and then taking that finished product and putting it in a frame and sending it to a gallery, in, and my gallery representation is in Carmel, California, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Hilton Head, South Carolina, Kansas City, St. Louis. So we have a, a broad uh, uh, area uh, that the Lake of the Ozark is represented through these paintings. Now Rita's is the same way. She develops her work uh, mostly out of her mind or her head. I get my ideas through people that I see or meet, uh, ideas. I start to sketch and get an, get an idea and then sketch it out. So it's not so much like Joe where he's uh, painting a particular scene. Mine is more of an idea. And things that, things that I like, everyday uh, instances, sitting with, with friends, and the, the moments that, that you have alone or with friends uh, seem to be the, that's the message in my work and what I try to portray in my original prints. Uh, I call mine modified impressionism because it's not uh, pure impressionistic and it's not pure realism. It, it falls kind of in between. And uh, part of that is because of the type of uh, paint that I use, which is acrylic paint. But it, it lends itself, uh, uh, it dries fast so it has a harder edge to it. So uh, it's a little bit harder to get the, the little soft edges that you would associate with impressionism. But because I paint outside, the, the painting approach is, is more dabbles of color. Uh, the subject matter is 
of this area and, and the people and the, and the uh, landscape. I'm more of a landscapist than anything. And, and uh, I just love this area around here. My style developed uh, through using the silk screen uh, method of, uh, you, I use glue on the screen directly, which is more painterly than, than uh, some other applications of the silk screen printmaking process. And over a period of, well, I've been doing this for the past uh, 28 years or 30 years. My goodness, <laughs> time flies. <laughs> but um, it's, my style is one that I've developed just from the materials that I use. And I, I enjoy the subjects. My subjects are, are people, women in particular, enjoying, um, like I said before, conversations with friends over a glass of wine, uh, flowers. And uh, it's, it's, it's served me well. My, uh, my artwork has been in exhibits across the United States, and I'm also represented represented by many galleries, mostly in the Midwest. It's kind of funny because so many people think of uh, the Midwest as not being an arts area. You know, you think of uh, either coastline or the Southwest, but there's so so many great artists that come from this area, and, and uh, the uh, uh, subject matter here is unbelievable. Uh, you know, you just step outside and you have the lake, you have the trees, you have people, the farms, you know, there's such a wide ver uh, variance of subject matter that an artist could uh, find here. We want people to feel comfortable coming in and seeing how artwork is done and, and what, uh, what the process is. Uh, we have both our studios open so people can actually walk around besides a, an area that we have where we we show finished work and people can make a purchase while they're here if they wish we also in, invite them into our studios and we can show them how something's done how I do my process Joe has his sketchbooks there which he works from and so well, hopefully it's it's a different experience for people than going to a gallery, or which is great also, but we hope that they come to the studio with the idea of seeing a real artist studio. A lot of times people think of the, the artist studio as being a real mysterious type of uh, place that, that uh, is uh, off limits, and, and I've always, and Rita and I both, I've always uh, had the belief that uh, the more accessible that an artist makes himself to the public, uh, the more they'll understand what it is that you're actually trying to say as an artist. Whereas if you all you do is read about uh, artist statement, that you know that that's so cold. Whereas this is a more one-on-one -on -one and a, a warmer way of if you're thinking about purchasing a piece of artwork, it's a lot more fun to, to go away with a piece of artwork directly from an artist studio than it is. Uh, to have said, well, I never got to meet him, but this is what they say he says about his work. You know? And that's why, the, you know, if you buy directly from the artist, you have heard exactly what the artist thinks about his work or her work. And well, I'm excited. You know, I think we'll, we'll take this uh, two-day trip, and uh, I think it would be great to uh, see some of the artists on this tour and just kind of get an idea of, of what's on here. Uh, but keep in mind that there's a lot of artists that we won't be able to see on here, but you sure can. And at any time, you can uh, change your tour or uh, dictate the tour that you would want to take. So um, I think I'm... We could go another time and see something completely different. Oh, yeah. We, we could make this into a three-day or four-day trip even, even though you know it only takes one day to drive all the way around. But you, you could easily make this three or four days to see everything. And uh, I think it's, it's really exciting. So, um, but first, you know, I, I tell you what, uh, I'm kind of hungry. We've got the gas in the truck. Let's get, let's uh, get going and... and uh, Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What's that? On the rise? Oh, hey, that's, that's first place it's on... on the, there the it is. Trail. Okay, let's go. That's all right.